the way this works. First, I want you to write it's a transfer of electrons. And you're going to see what that means in a minute. So it's a transfer of electrons. And, and I'll just tell you right off the bat, it's metal to non-metal. Always. Every single time. Every ionic compound we ever talk about is metal to non-metal. Nope. And the metal will always be written first, actually, when you write the compounds, for reasons we'll talk about in about half an hour. Metal to metal, metal, to metal is something called metallic bonding, which we'll talk about in a couple days. What is metal to gas? Metal to non-metal. Doesn't mean that's right to be gas. I mean, that yeah. Now, let's look at this. Sodium and chlorine. How many valence electrons does sodium have? One. Three. Yeah. It's got one. Sodium is Na. Chlorine has seven. All right. Now, notice how many valence electrons does sodium want? Eight. One, two. How many does everything want? Eight. 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 Wants eight. Now, and here's the explanation. If sodium were to do what I just showed you, where it shares its electron with chlorine there, would it have eight? No. no. Chlorine would only have two. If you were to write it like this, chlorine, sodium only has two, right? Chlorine has eight, but sodium has two. So that doesn't happen. Instead, you have something called an ionic bond occur, which is transferring of electrons. Because here's the deal. If sodium gets rid of this electron, you'll notice where sodium is. It's 3s1. Okay. So if we were to get rid of that, sodium then moves back in terms of electron configuration right there, correct? Because the configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. 3s1. You get rid of 3s1, you're left with 2s and 2p. You have eight electrons. It's happy. So that's what it does. It donates this electron to chlorine. So now you can write it sodium and then chlorine has eight. And theoretically then sodium in its next shell has eight. It's happy too. Well, that, that's the hang on. This next thing here. Now, what happened when we removed that electron? What did it, what did sodium become? No, it became more stable. That's why it gets rid. Of, that's why it gets rid of the electron. And it now has the electron configuration in the end. But what do we? How would we describe it? What happened? You change the electrons around. What does that make it become? Ion. Ion. That's the whole point. It's an ion. You remove a negative charge. What happens to it? becomes positive. You added an electron to chlorine, so what does that become? Negative. 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 Now, yes? That's what you've got to, you've got to identify it based on where it is on the table, like how I was showing you yesterday. Like stuff over here is plus one, plus two, etc. Then over here, negative one, negative two. All right? from your notes from yesterday. Now, here's the last part of this. This is, this is the simplest part that makes the most sense. If you're at an atomic level and you've got a sodium and you've got a chlorine, sodium's positive, chlorine's negative, and they're near each other, what's going to happen? How are they going to bond? They're going to attract. Positive and negative form an electrostatic attraction and they bond together. 